Hi Virgo, it's Michelle from The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So we're gonna do a read for the full month of uh, September and this is going to be a general read. So uh, do keep that in mind. So if you're looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, go to The Guided Intuitive up here or in my description box below, okay? So we're gonna see what wants to come out for you. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, do keep in mind too that uh, uh, it's going to be what the universe wants you to know. So it can relate to love, it can relate to, uh, you know, maybe career or in finance, your business, that type of thing, or just life overall. So just note that, okay? So we'll see what the universe truly wants you to know, okay? A um, couple things uh, here. I do want to thank all of you that have been booking reads with me. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I just want to do a quick shout out to you to thank you for that. Uh, and uh, all the uh, packages and all the beautiful, uh, you know, uh, coaching sessions that we've been doing together. It's just been phenomenal. And I don't take any of this lightly, uh, especially this personal development stuff. It's just, it's, it's quite amazing, okay? Uh, and uh, it has lots of gems, lots of hard work. Uh, and uh, it just is, it, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. So those of you that might be experiencing any sort of blockages that might be holding you back, uh, maybe in a particular situation, uh, you know, maybe as it pertains to your business or in your life, you definitely want to check out a discovery session up here as a starter. Um, that allows some one-on-one -on -one time together and uh, complimentary. And if we are a good fit, we make a recommendation for a particular program, uh, you know, perhaps a particular uh, package of some sort. Uh, so uh, there you have it, all right? So it's in my description box below too, okay? So let's jump into this and see what's going on for you, okay? Virgo, let's see what's uh, happening. Uh, here's where you're at right now. We're gonna start um, with this here. Wow, okay, so we've got the, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, and then the World card, the Major Con of the World card, okay? So the Queen of Swords tells me that that there is, you know, you're offering some sort of compromise, but you're also placing boundaries on things that you will, you know, kind of move, you know, kind of cut things out that aren't going to be uh, beneficial for you in your world, whether it's a person, place, or thing, you know, so to speak. But this is where you're at right now. Um, and this allows for a brand new beginning. You know, this is a page of wands. And the page of wands is all about a brand new beginning. There could be an opportunity coming through, a message coming through for a brand new beginning. Uh, this is uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius type energy. So fire energy, right? So that's what I see coming through here. And it is also, um, it's also about, um, uh, you know what I want to say that there it's like a, a brand new discovery of something uh, you know and and the next card that I get is is the world card which is a sense of completion it could be travel for some of you uh, so you know that's what I see kind of come into play which is really beautiful so this just tells me that um, at this particular time that it's it's like you have um, you have an opportunity for a successful completion, but this also brings about a brand new beginning. Okay, so just note that. So there is a some sort of completion that has taken place that allows for a new beginning, and um, that's what I see here. I'm gonna pull a few more cards. Here. I'm curious to see what anything else wants to come out where you're currently at right now. Yeah, it's like. Uh, it's like I really feel that there's a, there's completion in a brand new beginning. Um, after kind of feeling, I got the Five of Pentacles, the Moon card, and then I got the Four of Cups. So it's kind of like after feeling left out in a particular uh, situation, uh, whatever that case may be, um, you know, this the Fives are all about maybe some sort of adversity, feeling left out. There's support all around you is what this is saying. So it's about, you know, uh, this is about, you know, reading of any sort of illusion and in contemplating that, right, before you actually move forward on what you want that brings you emotional fulfillment. It's like you're unsure whether or not to take this Four of Cups, um, you know, here, this opportunity that's coming your way because you're so focused on still what it is that you want. So there's been some sort of completion that is allowing for a new beginning after maybe perhaps being left out in our feeling left out. Uh, but that's saying it's just an illusion. It's putting, it's saying, hey, go back, take a look at what it is that you really want before you accept a cup. So getting clear on that, I think, is one of the key things that's happening for you currently right now, okay? Uh, could be dealing with a, um, like Cancer Scorpio or Pisces type energy here that we have. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what I see coming through here. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and, and yeah, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So uh, yeah, that's what I see coming through. Um, anything else in terms of your current uh, situation? 
Yeah, you're going through some sort of transition right now, okay? The soul trees uh, just kind of uh, stamp that uh, exactly what we just talked about, that you're kind of deciding what it is that you want before you go for what you want, if that makes sense. But you do have a new beginning, and I think that you see that there is potential growth as you're getting closer to what that is for you. So what is crossing you right now, uh, Virgo? What's crossing you right now? Let's take a look. This is going to be, again, what the universe wants you to know. So what's crossing you in your current situation right now? Okay, what is it? We got the Hermit card. Woo, wow, you're getting some major arcana here. The, the Hermit card, the Eight of Cups, and the Magician. So this is nice. This is, again, remember that transition. You're taking kind of a higher level view of things, and you're looking down with confidence and saying, okay, how do I want to move forward? Okay, so that's what I see here. And the beauty of this, too, is that, you know, the Hermit card talks also about that, um, it's kind of like that, you know, having the confidence and knowing that the confidence in terms of moving forward is going to be great. Okay, so this is really good. Could be dealing with the Virgo, uh, but you're, you know, you know, another Virgo or this again is just you here is what I really feel for many of you. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like uh, looking at things from an analytical point of view. Okay, so what's crossing you is that you're looking at something at an analytical view and you're kind of maybe walking away from all, you know, from some, something that maybe perhaps emotionally didn't work out for you. Uh, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type energy. So it's kind of walking away of something that you know is in your best interest to do so, to balance your energy. And I kind of feel, I gotta tell you guys, for some of you, it's kind of like getting out of your head and, uh, and walking away from that and then using the, the, the resources from above and below. So using your spirituality and then also the, your resources on an earthly plane. So it's not just analytic, it's also focusing on your heart uh, as well. So, you know, this is saying is that um, things can always be accomplished in the head, that it's also, um, you know, talks about, you know, emotions as well. So you can't just think in your head, walk away from emotions. This is the, the magician card shows up saying, hey, use both, use both, okay? Um, use all the resources, you know, use from above and below, okay? So, you know, use above and below, you know, so th it's almost as if that it wants you to, wants to remind you um, what's crossing you is that you have all the resources necessary to move forward and to take action, which is really beautiful. So this is nice. Uh, that uh, this is really really beautiful and this is also by, it's ruled by communication right so this card is ruled by Mercury planet of communication again the one card new beginning so this is really good for you guys okay so that might have a message for some of you let's take a look at uh, what is it that you need to focus on right now what is it that you need to focus on right now okay let's take a look at what that is for you uh, what does Virgo need to know? What do they need to focus on right now? What does the universe want Virgo to know right now in this relationship or situation, whatever? <laughs> Justice popped out. Okay, Major Arcana. Okay, so this is really interesting because this talks to me about, uh, you know, that there is some sort of, uh, you know, uh, balancing act that needs to take place. Now, it could be, again, from the head and the heart that's coming through, but what you need to focus on right now is justice. There could be some sort of determination in a relationship situation, court case, whatever the case may be, uh, but there is justice is coming through here. So that's that's gonna be very important, okay? Uh, some, something balancing now. Could be dealing with the Libra uh, as well for some of you, but I'm gonna pull a couple more cards on, on uh, on, you know what is it that you need to focus on okay so interesting so we get we get um, the three of wands the empress card and then the three of swords so what this talks about is that there's some sort of justice at the end of heartbreak and it has you almost like in this empress energy focusing on the beauty focusing on nourishing yourself having a brand new beginning birthing something new and then strategizing on what that will look like do I want a partner to come with me? Which partner do I want? Or do am I going to go this alone? You know. So what does that look like? So this is about strategy. Uh, you know, the threes are all about uh, um, you know about you know, having preparation and preparing yourself. You know, for uh, the relationship, the situation. You know, whatever that is for a new beginning after some sort of heartbreak has taken place. Okay. So uh, you're going to get your justice, is what this is saying. So focus on. Um, you know, justice for you in terms of your own heartbreak and start, you know, focusing on becoming, you know, stepping into that beautiful Empress energy, Virgo. You know, really about, uh, you know, it's about comfort. It's about art. It's about beauty. In 
doing whatever it is that makes you feel good. Because when you get into that yummy energy, you've got better clarity on how you want to move forward, um, not just based on your head, but also your heart and, and, and you know, using that magician type energy to create your own kind of uh, a remedy and how you would like to move forward. So you're having some foresight and prepar making preparation for that. Okay. So this is about preparation for what it is that you want to see come to fruition and what that magician in you wants to create. Okay. Let's go ahead into the recent past and take a look at that and see what that is for you. Okay. Uh, this will be interesting to see. Okay. Got you guys, it's hotter than hell. So I, I mean, I gotta tell you, um, I got the fans going, and I, I and and I, I, it's just really one of those really hot, humid, sticky days. So uh, yeah, so uh, just saying, so if you see me sweating, this, it, you know, kind of doing your rays, what's happening? <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see uh, in your recent past. Okay, gotta have some fun in this. All right, all right. So what do we get here? So we've get the Queen of Cups, we get the Two of Wands, and we get the Devil Energy. So um, what we see here is um, the Queen of Cups, we've got the Two of Wands, again, more preparation, kind of moving forward. Uh, and then this is, uh, you know, Capricorn type energy. So what it is that I get here, this is, um, this is letting go of the fear and moving forward towards liberation, okay? And uh, it has you strategizing things right now is what I feel. And it's focusing on, again, what it is that you want. This is in the recent past. So it's about you letting go of any sort of fears in relationships, situations, uh, you know, business, whatever has brought you to my channel, and and really uh, focusing on what it is that you want, and then again strategizing that. So this is in your recent past. It's it's really about um, uh, it's really about that, uh, you know. And it could be again. I, I still get it could be maybe a little bit of of, of uh, uh, travel, perhaps. You know, it could be that as as well too. So interesting. Um, recent past energies, uh, just to kind of know where you're springboarding from. Yeah, this is about, this is interesting. I get the card of service, okay? And it's about, you know, maybe doing some sort of service, uh, you know, to uh, maybe perhaps remedy the situation. Perhaps you're getting some sort of service from someone. You are providing service for someone. Um, whatever it is, it's helping you get rid of the fear that you once had and you're letting that go. Okay. And that's what I see. And if you need help with that, definitely go to beyond the read up here. Okay, guys, let's focus on your strength. Okay. What is it that you need to focus on for your strength? What does the universe want you to know in terms of your strength? Okay. Let's take a look at that. All right, guys, what is it? Nice. Okay. Two uh, major arcana cards, the judgment, the nine of wands, and then you've got the hangman. Okay. So your strength is resurrecting, you know, the situation, resurrecting yourself, getting help from your, you know, your spirit guides coming down. There is going to be a judgment that is going to be made. This is beautiful. Okay. Because what I see here is that this is all about making some sort of decision and your strength is in making a decision that is going to re allow rebirth in you. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's what I see here. And then I get the nine of wands, which is that fire type energy. This is about persevering, um, even, you know, uh, regardless. Okay. You've got nine wands there and you've been beaten up and bruised, but you're going to continue to move forward. Okay. All for the, you know, for love, you know, the green boots, the green tights that has to do with the heart chakra. So it's kind of fighting for what it is that you want to persevere in love and having the energy to do that, you know, some of that orange color there, uh, and, uh, expressing that and, and moving forward in that. Uh, and then it leaves you, um, it's kind of persevering. Uh, and then I get the hangman, which is another major arcana. And this is about looking at something from a different perspective. Okay. So, um, interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like that there is some sort of, um, oh, what is it that I want to say, want to say here? Uh, it's like maybe perhaps there's been maybe some sort of delays, but you're still persevering for some of you. Uh, and, uh, and um, with the judgment card, it's kind of like, I, I feel that, um, uh, that, that it's kind of like some sort of your strength is in resurrecting yourself, getting yourself where you are getting in an enlightened perspective so you can consistently, you know, continuously persevere, you know. I'm gonna pull a, an energy card. I wanna see what wants to come up for you here. So some sort of judgment's going to be made, but it's going to be really um, helpful for you. 
Yeah, okay, this is interesting, guys. I'm gonna pull a couple more and see. Okay, okay, yeah, so there, there is, you're at, this is interesting. I get, for some of you, might be working too hard. So this is about, you know, a workaholic, okay? So it could be in terms of your communications, uh, that uh, you know that that might be coming into play, but uh, the card that comes out here is, is is workaholic. So it could be for some of you, you might be just you know you're uh, you know working too hard. You know for some of you, so that could be the case. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is saying is that uh, um, maybe that you feel that maybe that uh, maybe you're waiting to complete your career before you live your life. And, but this is saying that any sort of busy work might be really hiding what really needs to come out. So, and, and the other card that I got here was an impasse. And then the other card what I got was instinct. Okay. It's, 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 you know, you're, you know, it's, it, are you hiding behind work? Uh, you know, uh, you know, because it's, it's, uh, this is the, the great card here. Um, you know, this is about, you know, communication, you know, kind of like the throat chakra. Um, but this is talking about the uh, the um, the seventh chakra, which is you know your crown chakra. This is about higher consciousness, and this is about using your instinct and moving forward. Uh, because right now you're at this impasse, right? You're at this impasse, and um, this impasse is at you, you're maybe perhaps not sure which way that you should go in a situation. But your strength is to continually to persevere and to move forward. That's what this is talking about. So it does want you to continuously move forward. So that's what I see. Coming through here too, um, and it could be too, guys. That um, you know that if you have to reroute something, rewire, redo something, it doesn't mean it's the end. Is what this wants to remind you of. So it's not the end. Your strength is to let you know there's just a rewiring, a rerouting of something. So if you're at an impasse, not sure which way to go, it doesn't mean they're at the end. It just means that don't wait for your present situation to, to change. Stay focused and just find another path. Keep going. Find another path. Okay. Okay. So this is about surrendering, about wisdom. This is about opportunity. Um, and uh, and uh, this also is about checking in with your reaction to the delays that you may be having. Okay. So don't cover it up with work. Okay. Is what this is saying. Really look into that. Okay. And remember, there are many paths to get to your destination. And that's what this wants to remind you of, okay? So what's going to happen in your near future? What wants to come out in your near future? That's interesting, guys. Really interesting. Note your comments below, guys. Drop a like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. It helps my channel. But I'd like to know how this resonates with you, if you're kind of feeling that, okay? All right. So let's take a look at your um, uh, near future. Wow. We got the Lovers card, the Queen of Wands, and we've got the Ten of Wands. The Lovers card is really good. So this just tells me, uh, you know, some of you might be done with the Gemini, I'm just saying, uh, but this is a, a six card, which is the new birth, right? So six is real popular in your read here. Um, but I do see that uh, Lovers card, this is a, a you know divine timing, that type of thing. I also get the Queen of Wands, which she's very spiritual, she's very magnetic, very confident. She you know, she's creates things that she wants. She's got that yeah, fight type energy here you might have it in your chart or someone around you but this is also an opportunity of something coming to an end you know ending up having to do it all yourself uh, so this is uh, um, you know this is about an opportunity um, in your near future uh, of not having to carry the load yourself okay this is you know in terms of a love situation not having to carry it all yourself uh, so do keep that in mind yeah, this is about, um, I'm pulling a couple more cards. Yeah, this is about expansion, okay? This is about expanding um, expanding yourself uh, in, in, in the near future. And it's maybe perhaps, um, uh, you know, something's coming in of doing this all yourself, okay? And in a relationship or a situation, okay? And I think that now that there might be an opportunity for expansion as it pertains to a lover, okay? So for some of you, that could be the case. Um, so that could be the case. So very interesting. What do the uh, soul tree cards have to say? Okay. So, so it's kind of like something is going away and something new is coming in. It's kind of how I'm feeling guys. I don't know. Note your comments below, but that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. Okay. Freedom. <laughs> kind of something like that. Okay. Something like that. All right. So having freedom, right? Expansion, freedom, something goes away. So something can come into play. So yeah. And it could be uh, guys, it could be a lover. Okay. So uh, there you have it. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm going to, that's what, that's what, um, I think that's what I'm going to call your read.
something comes into uh, something goes away and something comes into play so that's exactly what I see here okay let's continue this um, what is your best way forward what is your suggested approach what is that let's see Ooh, nice you guys got some love coming through here. Something's coming through. This is about community, okay? This is about community. This is about celebration and community. And then we get an opportunity. So if it's not love, it's a contract between two people uh, and moving forward with passion. But for some of you, this could be love. Uh, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type energy. Uh, also Leo's here too. But this is actually equal footing. Two people on equal footing, right? And uh, wanting to come in. You might meet this person through your community, through doing work. It could be, guys, remember we talked Talked about service in your recent past it could be that uh, and maybe you know it, it you know for some of you it could be that uh, and it could be maybe through work you know so to speak but but I also see moving forward passion this is uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius coming through here jumping right in through here uh, so uh, it could be your best way forward um, you know, uh, you know, in terms of your suggested approach is to focus on, uh, you know, community uh, to, you know, togetherness and whatever that case may be, you know, collaboration, you might meet someone through that. And I think it brings forth a lot of passion. Okay. And it's a night of, of, of swords. This is Gemini Libra Aquarius, you know, slow this you know, person down. If that's the case guys, uh, uh, you know, or if this is you taking on that energy, slow down a little bit, um, because, uh, uh, you you don't want to miss something or um, you know be caught off guard a little bit so that's what I see coming through right there so what is it that where are we at in time okay so what is it that you um, need to know let's take a look at what this is you need to know uh, this is a Capricorn uh, this is Capricorn Taurus Virgo type energy this is the king of Pentacles this is like in business you're moving away to calmer waters you know it could be that you're moving away from a Capricorn uh, tor you know uh, Taurus Virgo or this is you moving away into calmer waters in terms of the relationship or situation uh, and what is your overall outcome let's take a look at what this is your overall outcome we're gonna pull that right now Wow. Okay. This is good. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Six of Wands and then we've got the Five of Swords. Oh, excuse me, the Seven of Swords. So what this means to me is that you've kind of leveled out in terms of your emotions. You might have a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces around you, uh, but this is, you know, someone who's very, very balanced in their emotions, right? And if you're taking on this energy, it's what I'm feeling. And I feel that there is a, people are noticing you now. They're noticing the success of, of yourself and, and, and any work that you put into yourself, whatever Whatever it is that you've done, you've gained a lot of confidence, okay? A lot more confidence. This is a wreath of success. This is a six card again, guys. Remember, six is important for you. It's a birthing of something new. Uh, and this could be in a relationship or situation, but it's a birthing of, of something new and putting an end to any sort of deceit, okay? And that's what I see here. And, and that's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really, really beautiful is what I see. That's awesome, guys. Really awesome. Um, yeah, and it's like this, this it, the end of deceit in, you know, in, in the isolation, you know, that you've had, you're kind of getting out there a little bit more. When you get out there with community and start getting out there a little bit more, you're going to be recognized. I'm just saying, okay? But that's what's coming into play. There, yeah, there could have been some isolation in terms of your communication, and now you're kind of getting out there. What is the universe, uh, what is the uh, earth... Um, uh, cards want you to know. This is the uh, Earth Oracle cards. Um, these are really amazing cards. Earth Warrior Oracle. What do we have? Uh, what is it that this card wants you know the universe? Blessings of the Supreme Being. This is beautiful, guys. Okay, so these are very, very deep, uh, um, rich cards. It takes a little while to kind of uh, uh, understand what they what they actually mean but it's a 25 card that reduces to a seven and this is about having this is about having faith okay so in this relationship or situation I think there's an opportunity for some sort of uh, uh, this is about you know blessings a blessing is coming to you now is what this card really talks about that so this is really good that we pull this at the end um, things do not need to be complicated in a relationship or situation. This is just saying uh, when you're confusing yourself with too many, many variables, there's a, you know, a lot of fear, doubt, and all these things kind of tend to, to cloud things a little bit more. This is saying when you feel that way, just focus on feeling your heart with love. 
Okay, just filling up your heart with a lot of love when you experience any fear, doubt, or anything of the sort. And focus on, you know, and let everything else go, okay? Uh, this is not making you passive, but it's, it's making you, um, in a way, uh, in, a, in a beautiful state of love, so you're able to move forward better and, and have more clarity in your actions, in what you want to do in moving forward, okay? And very helpful and very inspired in your actions and whatever that next step is for you, okay? This is, this is about an answered prayer from the divine, okay, guys? You're getting an answer prayer, so whatever that is for you, okay? You're healing and you're deepening the relationship with the divine as well is what this talks about. So, um, so that's what this is saying. Um, you, there may be an issue that needs to be confronted in order to grow spiritually, but your mind is afraid to let it go. So remember we talked about the head and the heart. Um, so this is just basically saying you, you may feel that you, could, uh, you can be capable of doing everything, but we need to do our part. And um, the truth is, is that we cannot fulfill our divine desti destiny without, you know, uh, the, the divine, you know, and that's what this is saying, okay? So um, you have a heart big enough to be concerned with the spiritual you know, of, of the spiritual uh, a community of many. So you might have that calling. So this is just saying, um, this is just saying, uh, you know, for you that you've got I mean, some sort of wish that is coming true. This is saying, yeah, the, you've got power in this world. You've got power in yourself to make the changes that you want. Okay. So this is beautiful. You guys got to let me know how this resonates with you, but that's what wants to come through. Uh, you see the third eye is really, really heightened over here. There's transformation, this new beginning that's coming into play here. Um, this is, you know, uh, uh, it's just, you've got the sun and the moon on each side. So you're very, very balanced within that. And then you've got the heart, which is coming through right over here too. It's just a, a beautiful depiction of being transformed by using, you know, but in also a better perception of your third eye, balancing things out. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, the, 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 the hand up and the hand down, you know what I mean? So um, it's, it's giving and receiving, right? This is beautiful, guys. Okay, I'm going to end this year. I'm sending you lots of love. Note your comments. Drop a like. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd love it if you could do that for your girl. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, namaste.